there has been a heightened awareness recently about the enterovirus D68, and many people have questions about it because we've all heard reports in the media about people who have been seriously affected by it or had to have been hospitalized. And there are cases in our community in Utah. The symptoms of this virus are very similar to the common cold or the flu. People who have been diagnosed with it have a fever, a runny nose, they're sneezing, coughing, and having muscle and body aches. Some people also have symptoms similar to eye infections or hand, foot, and mouth disease. So this leads us all to wonder, when do we get checked out? Just like the common cold, for most people, this illness will run its course and be inconvenient, but not necessarily life-threatening. For the very young and the very old, though, it can have more adverse effects. If you or anyone in your home who is sick is not getting better after a few days, the symptoms are getting progressively worse instead of better, or this person starts wheezing or having difficulty breathing, then it's time to get checked out. The biggest complication is respiratory distress. So if anyone is showing those symptoms, they're having a hard time breathing, they're breathing rapidly, they suck it in their chest when they're breathing, then those are all reasons to seek urgent medical attention. There is no treatment for this virus, just like there isn't a treatment for the common cold. So the best thing to do for someone who's sick is to encourage fluids, give them plenty of opportunities for rest, and you can take over-the-counter medications that relieve fever and pain. Talk with your doctor if you're not sure what kinds are safe, especially if you have little ones or you're not sure about proper dosages. This virus is spread through secretions that are found in a person's respiratory tract, so anything that might come out of their nose or mouth is a possible way to transmit the disease saliva, mucus, all of those sorts of things. You can get it if a person coughs or sneezes on you or if they cough or sneeze on something and then you touch it. So in order to prevent it, the best thing you can do is wash your hands. That's the most important thing to do. And teach your kids to properly wash their hands. Get a good lather going with some antibacterial soap, use warm water, and, and scrub for at least 15 to 20 seconds. For kids, it's helpful if you teach them to sing their ABCs or happy birthday while they're scrubbing. That's about the amount of time that you should be scrubbing your hands. And then avoid touching your mouth, nose, or eyes if you haven't washed your hands recently. Decontaminate frequently touched surfaces in your home if someone is sick because, again, if someone's coughed or sneezed on something, then you can get it if you touch that and then you touch your face. So rails, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, decontaminate them frequently. One of the most obvious things you can do is avoid contact with people who are sick. So if someone in your family is sick, avoid hugging and kissing them. Definitely don't share utensils, cups, or silverware until it's passed and they're feeling better. If you're ever concerned about yourself or one of your children, don't hesitate to call the doctor. And after asking you more specific questions and performing an exam, they can decide if any other action is required. I hope that you and your family stay well this season. And if you have other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.